Hi in this lesson we are going to learn about break and continue statements in the previous lessons we have learned about while loop do while loop and for loop so all these loops will iterate right i mean they have iterations based on some conditions they will perform a particular number of iterations while the condition is satisfied okay let's see a simple example here in this main method i am reading a value from user and i am printing Uh, printing that value in the while loop if user enters 10 i am going to execute these steps in the for loop for those many number of times so so as i said i mean if he enters 10 i am going to execute these steps 10 times let's see that in example let's see that by running the program okay user entered 10 so first time uh, i printed second time i printed so total 10 times i have printed this statement let's say we have a situation when the condition is 7 like when the iteration is 7 we don't want to continue any more we want to immediately come out of this loop okay we want to terminate for loop how can we do that so we can simply write a condition if i double equal to 7 then i am going to break out of this loop so this is how we use the break statement okay when is particular condition is met we want to terminate this loop so this is how we write so what happens is once the break statement is executed the remaining steps in current iteration will be skipped and the for loop will be terminated so we are not going to execute remaining iterations so this is the seventh iteration right in the seventh iteration we will execute till here we are we are going to break here so this statement that is, that is part of seventh iteration will never get executed because of this break also there is not going to be any eighth ninth and tenth iterations in this example okay so let's rerun this program this time i am entering 3 so you can see there is no break first iteration second iteration third iteration after the for loop we are seeing a statement first statement after loop that is good let's execute this one with 6 uh, okay so now we are seeing first iteration second iteration third fourth fifth and sixth iteration all six iterations are completed so break is not executed and we are seeing first statement after loop let's reexecute this this time let's enter 8 okay we can see first second third fourth fifth sixth iterations are complete when it came to seventh iteration the statements before break are executed as part of seventh iteration but the last statement that is part of seventh iteration hasn't got executed so the moment the break statement is executed the for loop is terminated and we came out of for loop and we have printed the statement first statement after loop so there will be scenarios where we want to come out of the loop when a particular uh, condition is satisfied we are going to see that in a program where we try to find out whether a given number is prime number or not but for this lesson please remember once the break is executed the current iteration remaining steps or remaining statements will be skipped and for loop or it can be included in while loop do while loop also and all these loops will terminate okay there is a different statement called continue statement it won't terminate the loop okay it is not going to terminate the loop the continue statement but it will skip the remaining steps or remaining statements in the current iteration let's see that let's see the continue okay this program is similar to previous programming we read a number and we execute these four statements those many number of times so let's start this program and enter 3 so we have seen all the three iterations okay let me print this before printing first statement so it will be looking good okay i am executing again with four this time so first iteration second third four fourth iteration so we are seeing all four iterations and after that we are seeing first statement after the loop so in this case okay 
what we want to do is if a particular condition is met we want to skip next steps in the current iteration so let's say here if the iteration is the even number iteration so if i percentile 2 double equal to 0 so it is a even numbered iteration so in this case we don't want to execute the remaining steps in the particular iteration okay i can include open and closed curly braces to keep it simple i am writing one line expression okay once you have enough practice you can go for these kind of things okay let's execute this one so what happens is every even numbered iteration the last statement will be skipped so once continue is executed it will go to updation part and it will skip the remaining steps in the current iteration so it is not going to break out of the for loop it is only going to skip the remaining steps we can see that by executing this program okay let me just give two so for the first iteration it executed all the four steps okay but uh, for the second iteration if you see the last statement like last step in the current iteration is missed because once the continue statement is executed the current iteration is done whatever steps are remaining in current iteration they are all skipped the control directly goes to the updation part in case of per loop and then it will check for the next iteration and it will execute that iteration so let's rerun it with a bigger number in this time this time we are going to enter 7 okay if you see first iteration this is odd number iteration right so all the steps are executed in case of even number iteration after continue whatever statements are there they are skipped all the statements executed statements after continue are skipped all the statements executed statements after continue are skipped so seventh one is uh, odd number iteration and all the statements are executed we came out of the for loop okay so that is about break and continue break will immediately terminate the loop so whatever steps or whatever statements are remaining in current loop they will be skipped because the loop itself is terminated so uh, that is about break but in case of continue the loop won't be terminated only the remaining statements in the current loop will be skipped okay we are going to use break and continue in our uh, programs when we start writing the programs because now we have seen all the conditional operators and uh, conditional statements and also we have looked at loops so we are in a very good position to write programs so we are going to use all these concepts in our programs the break as well as continue thank you thank you for watching this video please subscribe and share it with others